Whoa, there's been a big bingle just down here. Let's go to the light. Let's go to the intro screen. Quick. Just, I, I was just literally, I just sat down. I was getting comfy and I saw off in the distance. I saw this, um, this red van here or this like, I don't know what color you call it. Anyway, it just came around the bridge and did a big 360 donut spin. Oh, the big van had a big spin. All right, we're going to get straight into it today. Oh, well, well, wait for the fuzz to get here. Wait for this to be cleaned up. Um, so last time out, we've been putting the expansion in down where I was getting the freeway. I was getting a hookup off the freeway and potentially trying to squeak the train line under and then setting up all the tram lines. That's where we sort of got up. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's all chaotic just here. Uh, and then... um. <laughs> yep, good job everyone. Everyone do your U-turns. Anyway, so we're gonna head back over there and get everything ready. What I actually did do, I'll take I'll take everyone around. We'll go to live scene now. I'm sitting up the top here, by the way. What we'll do is um I'll take you around here because I take you over here firstly. I'm still I'm still unhappy with how this works. It's a very the more I'm, the more I do it, the more I'm thinking Johnny was right in terms of we need to get the clover leaf off here because the traditional just off and on ramps uh, with the roundabout is slight, not slightly working, and not to mention the fact that I've got to get somehow potentially maybe some rail under there. I guess the rail could come up and over at the back here. That's always an option I didn't really consider. So. I can't buy that plot of land yet anyway, so what we might do is we might actually take this rail up a bit higher back here over the top of that and send the rail down that way eventually when we unlock that. For now, we have tram lines that run. Basically, um, let's go from here. Uh, I'll show you which way the tram lines run. So they run here. Basically, we were going to put a stop in just out the front of the bus station here. So between the bus station and I think that we put a tram stop there. I don't know. I thought we put one in. Basically, we're going to have the tram stop over here. It then um, comes this way, right? Heads down this road. Along here, past the, uh, the big... Um, geothermal power plant past the fire rescue the heli rescue turns down here where it goes underneath our overpass and up this very very large road where we then have trams set um, for this downtown area that's going to be i'm actually going to now it's nice and flat here but i don't want it to flat is okay but it's kind of boring uh, but the tram line then runs all the way around here we'll have trams that can run up and down most of the major roads through here uh, but eventually it can head back it down this road, right? Where it then makes a turn here and we send the tram up through town, straight up this main... Now, this main road, if you have a look at it... Sorry, I cut it. I, I just came from Transport Fever 2. You heard your name, Johnny? Yes, I, I said your name. i just saying that um, your cloverleaf idea, we might, have to, we might have to go with the cloverleaf here because I'm still unhappy with how this has turned out. Um... Anyway, so the tram line actually goes down this this major major main road all the way down here. You can see it here, right? That highlighted road. That tram line goes that whole way. It goes up past the high school where we'll do a stop here. Uh, we'll do a stop at the car park, and then it's got the high school and sports uh, sports features. It then goes in through that tunnel and back up through this way before it links back up down here, right? So. There's lots, of, the, the tram has a full uh, connection all the way down now. So basically we just have to get roads and stuff in. When it comes to motorways, we do have this motorway that skims past the outside here. So I guess that's not that bad actually. We can just leave that. We'll incorporate that in our build. I do want to put, I don't want everything to be just flat. So in here instantly I'm going to put a bit of a hill side up here not everywhere and we, we can build up on this sort of plateau but because there's a bit of a hill here I want to make it kind of look like it's all one in the 
One, one and the same, basically like that from around here. And then just get that nice and uh, expand that, um, expand that smoothing zone there. And then what we'll do is we'll put a heap of shrubbery and stuff up through here to make it look like it's a thing. Uh oh, no, we're just doing a save. Same with around there. Get your hill around there. Doesn't have to be set right on the road. Just has to be enough to look like something. Okay, get that up there. Yeah, right. So then we can probably get a bit more town and city built up on there too. Um, so it just, everything's not just flat, right? Flat's boring. Also, we've got, we've got some, we've got people over here that need lack of high skilled labor. We actually need to get the university in. Now down on this peninsula here, we're going to put some nice, I'm going to have a nice big city or downtown central park for the whole, um, for the whole downtown over here we might run a nice sort of ferry and tourist section down off here as well but this whole corner here where we haven't bought yet i thought would be brilliant just for a nice big park on the corner there all right um in terms of this hill now what i want to do is i actually want to get i'm going to put the contours on i want to get a road that now actually comes from we'll, we'll take it from here Rikies. We'll go from here. Is it this road? It is that road. Uh, I'll be honest, I kind of want you... Um... Is that music too loud? Off there. Okay. You're listening to Second Moon Radio with J. Thomas Hornbuckle. We're gonna have you run like that. Some of the finest classical music on the air. Keep that dial right here. And I'm gonna have one here. A housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest. I like that guy. Apparently, it's not all good news. So a housing shortage no, buddy, it's not. Bad for the people trying to move here, right? Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual right. reward. We're just literally going to do that. Example, consider capital. One, right, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I love Kay. the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a Even though that should probably be a main road, I don't want it to be. I'm happy you, for it to be like that. Uh, then we want we want a bit of a spine road that heads up over the top of, over here. We're going to use back to regular roads. So we're going to go from here to there. Um, I'm going to flatten the top of this peak. I am actually going to flatten the top of this peak. Like that. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after this. I'm going to leave a bit of that shelf along the top there. Like that. Just adds a bit of like texture. Uh, I suppose at the back here we probably could. Get a little bit of that out the back here like that. Once again, just keep with it. Make that uh, probably more hilly through there.
like that. But. Okay. Don't need to be perfect. Right. That's probably good like that, to be honest. Every time you see that hitch, that's a save going in, by the way. Okay, so we're literally just going to split this straight up here like that. We don't need to be perfect. Uh, and you can have a split like this too. Okay. Uh, we're then going to head... I wonder if we should head from this road right here. Bit like that. Uh, and then we'll take our street here. actually do it like this okay so coming up the hill we're gonna go like this yeah that works nice At least the uh, landscaping doesn't cost us anything in this one. Which actually works out nicely for us. A uh, bit of uh, bit of undulation, bit of lump there. Actually doesn't go astray just to sort of dig that up a little bit. Bandit, how are you, friendo? <laughs> happy. And some happy little trees. Mm. It's quite nice. <laughs> the old Bob Ross, eh? I uh, love it. How are you, Bandit? Um, I probably... Look, we can send a road up here. It's just really not... It's really not that bad. We've already done the grading for it, so... I just have that, and then we're going to connect up to that. So we're literally just going to go... Halfway... halfway that's how that road's gonna roll rick roll up there which is not that bad happy happy for it to stay like that and we're gonna take you out to here put in a block just there right our first little uh, block is just in here we're gonna fill up this sort of stuff down here we'll do downtown soon we want to get this sort of river esplanade area going and then we can fill in up the top here too which we can actually do now by doing this right Some happy little trees. <laughs> that one didn't work. That one didn't work. I know why. Because I need to go off that one. That didn't work here. Stop. I know what the problem is. It's you, friendo. You're the problem. Right. You have a problem there, son? Didn't think so. 
Okay, so we've got a nice little grid up there for some building stuff. We can do, I can do out those little bits later. I could have just used a grid tool. I'm well aware of that. I didn't because I might do something different up here. Potentially something different there. We'll have to see. Right, down in here, we are going to run a grid system, but it's, um, can we run off that there, is it? Start with it is. And I'm not, I'm not going to be so precious with this when it comes to how it, uh, how it sort of looks, I guess. Then we're going to go something like this way. Sure. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect. you level off there for me now it's going to be broken everywhere but that's okay if you build everything perfectly it you just get it looks a little bit too funny i'm happy to maintain the grid through here you can have that there no i'm gonna leave that actually um okay next grid from here Odd, but okay. Right, that's coming along nicely. We'll go from here now. As long as we keep that 90. And then through here. We'll just keep going like this. That doesn't really work, that section. So that's going to go out of there. Uh, we'll go another one here. Sure. That one will plug into there. And then another one from about here. Boy, oh boy. That work? Because I can't have TAA on. It's, uh, it's doing some funny stuff with the actual game. Yeah, this is coming out all right. Go from there up to there. Right, and then I might leave this corner in here for something a little bit different as well. That's kind of our grid system down there. Yeah, okay, that's kind of how that's going to work. These turn-ons in here are not quite right. So to fix those, that one I'm going to leave. We're actually going to do this. that okay 
How are we going to do that? All right, Anna. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Hey, Joyce, how are you? Happy, happy little trees when they're on fire. <laughs> I know. We've been getting a lot of things on fire lately on this town. A lot of things have been catching on fire. Okay, that's working out a treat. You know, for the moment, I might just run that straight up there. And I'm going to run this one straight up there. Yeah, I'm going to run that like that. Mm, still unsure with that corner bit, but that's okay. So what we've got actually along here is brilliant because we've got some trams along here. And if we come into here and we go trams and we go tram stop. So if we actually have a tram stop just here, we might have like something there. Then we'll have another tram stop here. We'll go another tram stop there. We will then go past all these ones. Has been issued for the immediate area due to we'll have some buildings in here, so we'll put a tram stop there. Exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. The new trains officially started service yesterday. That's in Perth, yeah. We're in the air. Oh, oh, uh... Sorry about that. It's uh, nothing important. I just lost my keys. I'm sure they'll turn up. They're for the brown sedan parked outside the radio station. Oh, wait. I probably shouldn't have said that if anyone finds them. Please, don't, don't steal my car. I mean, the old hornbuckle mobile, please. Oh, good. Here they are. Well, never mind them. <laughs> Thank you for listening to... Uh, Sam, stop there. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. Um, we're, we're live, um, and we're getting reports. I'm gonna put a tram traffic. stop here, right? Uh, hey, it's for, it's where the workers are. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched, and traffic. You're hearing a lot of hate for this game. But if you're planning the hate you'll be hearing, Anna, will be because of the until everything clears up. Because the game's kind of. You already know about it. No, it's in an early access state, put it that way. The game should have released probably as an early access state. It's because the game was released unfinished. It's still a brilliant game. I love it. I love everything about it. Uh, because they've, they've moved the whole modding system the way that's done now. It's not done on Steam anymore. Not that you always had to use Steam. There's other things that you can use as well. But a lot of hate because the game sort of released unfinished, unoptimized. A bit buggy there's they brought out dlc not long ago which i had included as part of my starter package when i bought the whole game the first season pass was included but it's quite expensive for what it is too and they're releasing dlc like that which is smaller for a bigger price with the game unfinished so a lot of people are kind of a bit unhappy like that um for me yeah, it's a mess, and I, like I can't even crank the graphics at the moment. So what you're seeing here is not maximum graphics, because uh, if I turn TAA on, for instance, you, can, you watch this. You can see how good, like, see how everything's a bit. Yeah, it looks good, but I can make things look even better if I put um, TAA on. Right, the game starts to look a lot smoother. Play, like, looks really nice, but. What happens is all my icons start to um, disappear and I can't actually see problems and issues I'm having. So the TAA is actually fading out uh, um, all of the information you need. So uh, for instance, that's what that's what the game looks like with TAA on at the moment. Not only that, but all my city boundaries have gone, right? I can't actually see where my city boundaries are anymore. As soon as I put um, this back to... Uh, sub-pixel uh, micro-phological AA <laughs> and high SMAA, right? All of a sudden, my, my areas where I was working have come back up. I can start to see my icons. So there's a lot of little things that, and that's only just 
that's come with the latest update, right? So there's they patch one thing, they break another. It's yeah. Uh, so that's probably why you're getting a lot of people unhappy at the moment. Right, um, we're going to continue with the trams, right? Because we've got a tram stop. I'm going to put the tram stop that way in there, right? Um, you know what? Basically, wherever I run both these trams, I should run one back the other way. Uh, because we're running in both directions. So... Where I've put these, right, this is like a downtown, downtown office area, just down here, offices and buildings and stuff. So I'm trying to put, I'm trying to put tram stops where there's kind of like, um, I guess that tram shop should, tram stop should have been in here, shouldn't it? Doesn't matter, I don't think. Uh, actually it kind of does. It's going to be a busy road, put it that way. I'm not really fussed. I'll be, I'll be honest. I don't really care. I won't be stuck in it. You know, we could come down the back side of that road, but I won't. I think I won't. Right, now, let's say you come around this way. We will go here. And we'll go... Yeah. This one's actually going to come down, continue along the waterway front. Before heading back to a stop just here. gonna stop here uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about stops down the back here because these go all the way down here what I will do is I will do a stop outside the thermal plant 100% and then the stop here can facilitate the water plant as well right so if we're gonna come that way yeah that's probably it Yeah, brilliant. Right, now. We've got a university that we need to get into. How, how are we doing money-wise? We're doing okay. Uh, sporting facilities. What's this? It's a community pool. American, fo American football. American football. Kind of want to put a big soccer field in down here. Downtown's... Maybe we could make it actually have a downtown sporting complex, right? That doesn't, that just doesn't fit there. So how about we do something a little different? We'll have you like that. Right. Then what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to put, um this road down here okay we got there in the end okay can we get the soccer field in we can. Which way does your road need to be? Seriously, you're saying I can't get the road in there.
So are you seriously saying I can't get that road in down here, which you'd probably be right. So you can have that there. Actually, I don't mind how the... Okay, this is actually going to work out okay. Because it is like a little sporting ground, I'm going to move you. Can you clip for me? So you can clip there, but it means that I can't get my road in down here, can I? No. That doesn't matter. Actually, you know why? Because I can put a path down here, I'm hoping. Yes, and I can. I can get a path down there. That's brilliant. Okay, paths everywhere. That's fine. We'll put a path down here. Like that. Okay. So we've got some parks and stuff there, and I can put some buildings along here as well. But we basically have ourselves sporting grounds. Yeah, no, that's going to be fine, I think. A couple of sporting grounds in here. Uh, what I would have liked is to throw in the community pool too. The community pool could live in this section. And then we can have parks and stuff by nearby. What if we make all this part of the one complex? No, 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 no. put it in here. Okay. What we can do in here. Oh, we've got some monument buildings. Oh, we're going to put a couple of tennis courts in along here as well. Can I relocate you over one? We'll make this a uh, very, very much a downtown sporting complex. Tennis courts in. We'll get some basketball courts in over this side. And we'll get an outdoor gym in. All right, we're going to walk to some of these buildings as well. Outdoor gym can be over here. Uh, next to each other. We'll get in... Um... Dog park. Yeah, you got to have a dog park. We'll put the dog park in like here. In Australia, are you guys just unfazed by dangerous insects and snakes because it's common? Yeah, I'm more worried about Hank the dog because Hank got bitten by a spider the other day and it, it instantly, his you should have seen his arm was just completely swollen. So um, I had to get him straight to the vet and they gave him a couple of injections. So it was a worry. And the cane toads I'm worried about because he will lick the cane toads and cane toads kill dogs within 10, se 10 minutes of, uh, of the poison hitting them. So yeah, it's always a big concern with, with pets. For myself, growing up with it, I guess I don't think about it anymore. So um, it's never really phased me that much. Um, yeah. Probably not, not as much as it probably should have. Right, so this um this sporting facility, downtown for sporting facility is actually going to be quite good. I'm thinking about putting some buildings along here, like some shops. So if we go ahead and queue up... Has been issued for the immediate oh, we could queue up. Road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive. 
and try to stay off the streets. We could queue up these. This has been a local public service announcement. You're listening to Second Moon, the station for the cultural right. and sophisticated. Right. We'll up those. Extending their um more challenging sphere of the classical genre. Some Let shops us there. Move now from the musical page to the literary. Mm -hmm. Here we have some perfectly anguishing correspondence from a listener. My dear Professor Hornbuckle. That's better. <laughs> Whereas I make no apology for my erudite, uh, modesty... Um, over the back here, yeah, some more shops. I want shops and apartments down in this downtown facility area. And then the good news is we're going to have a tram stop right here somewhere. Yeah, we got a tram stop right out the front. So that's going to be perfect. And then what we'll do is we'll just put some trees and stuff in and around. Professor Hornbuckle. As Professor Hornbuckle, are, hmm? I don't know why my mods aren't working. Oh, my good fellow, chin up, as it were. No sediment. Save the game. I get my mods working. Your aching spirit. Oh, why my mods aren't working. Play tests. This one's activated. So this should be okay. Let's try and load salty shores. But I can't imagine laying down and there's a spider on your bed. <laughs> I've never thought about it, Anna, I don't think. Uh, especially like the spiders. Like that. Oh, good. So you've loaded it. Uh, I just have to close the game down. Hey, Neon! Um, yeah, Anna, I think. Sorry, I'm just closing the game down. Um... Uh, with the, with what you just said, my parents have a picture of me when I was a little kid. Uh, I, I was probably about 12 or 13 and I, and I was dead asleep and there's a big spider, huntsman spider, on my face near my mouth. <laughs> uh, but typically it doesn't. It's no more than here. Although, that being said, Josh, who's in chat, Ford Gaming... He's from a place called Perth here in Australia. I lived uh, with, I was in the Navy for a long time and I lived in Perth with the Navy and I lived on the base and on the base, uh, I li we live in our own cabins on the base. Like we have our own little apartment cabino, we like to call it. Anyway, um, the cabino had, uh, one of the girls screamed one day. She opened her sock drawer, her, or a, whatever drawer, underwear, sock drawer. And there was a massive snake in there. <laughs> it was huge. And we lived on an island too. Yeah, it's called Garden Island, yeah. The one did a uh, rowing ham. <laughs> oh, because rocking ham, it's rowing ham because it's fancy. It's silent CK. There's a pub called the Swinging Pig in Rocking Ham. Get it? Swinging Pig, Rocking Ham. Okay, I didn't name it. It's that's just the name of it. Okay, don't, don't look at me. All right, I'm hoping this works this time. I know, Fury. You wake up. Uh, we went from transport fever to... So uh, oh, good. I've got my uh, mods on now. My mods are working. Brucey, Brucey, thanks. Uh, I'll have you on that. I'll have you on random rotate. We'll get you down to... That many... I don't want to use the 
uh, sprucies too much. I want to use something more like probably big bushies like that. Yeah, big bushies to mix it up a little bit. Maybe some even just in here. Okay, like that. Uh, then I suppose we could just chuck a big oak in there. Because, you know, sometimes it's nice to have these facilities just uh, with things like that. Right, give me a couple of these if you can. Nice. We'll get this like a uh, little facility looking nice and Gucci, eh? couple of these here yes right lovely and then to obviously break up the dead end road down here oh that would have been perfect to have that there <laughs> bugger Uh, hey, buddy, you want to um, give us a hand down there? Right, that'll do that, will it? I always say that'll do that, and then I continue to do more. Just have it. I don't think you can get those. Oh, you can get them in there. <gasps> uh, definitely get them in. That'll do. I'd say that's looking pretty good. Okay, sporadically just plop these around. That's our little sporting facility, right? Oh, excuse me. Oh yeah, so Hank, um, the first time it happened to me, it really it scared the absolute bejeebas out of me, right? So Hank had, um, that road's crooked, but you won't notice when things start to build up. You won't notice crooked roads. Hank, um, I knew that cane toads were dangerous for dogs, but I didn't know that Hank had actually had a go at one one night. And he came bounding inside and he was like, he was all in, he was all distressed and he was distraught. And he's shaking his head heaps and then all this froth. I've never seen so much froth come from an animal before, but his mouth was just frothing. Because what happens is dogs have massive big sweat and saliva glands, right? It's how they cool themselves down when they're hot. They pant. And when they pant, that's how they cool them down. The saliva gets all over their tongue with their, sal their saliva glands. 
and then the air cools down on the saliva which cools the dog down that's how dogs cool down they don't have sweat glands like we do so when they get poison on their tongue and they keep licking the poison spreads to their body like that and cane toads are really deadly to dogs so you got 10 minutes to basically try and wash the poison out of the dog's mouth and flush the dog out before the poison hits the dog's heart and the dogs have a heart attack that's about the crux of it um so the first time it happened to me i was in absolute panic stations didn't know what the heck was going on um calling the vet i've got a hose in dog in hank's mouth yeah scared the absolute bejeebas out of me Okay, that doesn't have to be perfect either because it kind of looks good like that. All right, that's... Oh, look, the buildings are starting to pop in and they look magical. So they've got shops underneath and they've got... Um, and there's a path there. They've got shops underneath and they've got apartment blocks up top. And there's plenty of walking. There's gyms. There's tennis courts. Nice big sporting complex down here. What we might look at doing for downtown here is getting a bus station up as well. So when it comes to bus bus station in here oh you are kidding me you are bloody kidding me well I guess it could go in this block here Yeah, so that bus station could be in there. That's brilliant. Ah, oh, there's a tram stop just here and a bus station here. We could make the trams turn down this street and pull in down here. You know what? I might divert the trams down this way. So our tram depot... You know what? I'm still going to leave it. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to pull the trams down there. Uh, so let's say the trams can come down here. Make a turn. Although, uh, I was thinking about doing this earlier, wasn't I? Yeah, okay. Well, I've committed now. We can have trams go down the back. <laughs> I'm committed now. All right, so trams can go that way. I also want them to come down this road. Um, I'll give them the option to go those ways. That's it. So tram stop outside of here because there's lots of walkways just here. So yeah, right here and right here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, put a couple of tram stops here just in case we want to run trams past these areas too, which I've got them for and across the front here. I think that's fine. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to have to get in. Now, we've got NA High Density Business. Let's have a look at some of this, shall we? So, most of the downtown stuff here, we're going to have office buildings for commercial signature buildings. Uh, there should be a lot of residential down here. So, I'll keep the office space for potentially up in here. If that's the case, I'm just going to go straight up. Oh, I'm nervous to do it, but I straight up want to just go a massive block size. Have to get some more roads in here. I 
That just doesn't work like that. When you have that on. Damn it. Damn, that's not what I want you to be doing. I actually do want... You know what? I know what will get this to work. We'll do this. Thank you. Uh, I might run your... Might run you on a slight angle too. It's not really going to work, is it? That's how that will work in there. You and then this road here, we've got a connection point there and a connection point there. Let's get a connection point here. Housing shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert. <laughs> apparently it's not all good news. <laughs> Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go straight up the middle here like this. Humans are programmed to desire certain representations within ideological reward structures, which are entirely apart from the actual rewards enjoyed. For example, consider capital. One, right, well, one final question, Professor. Is the housing shortage going to make me richer? By certain metrics, perhaps yes, in the short term. I like the sound of that. But what we are discussing is the study of a statistical abstraction and its effect on the human Thank body. you, Professor. It is a question of priority. A quick weather update from Canberra. She's going to landscape architecture. Our city has more services than we <laughs> I don't think so. Um, it means we're not cutting things. It's 8.1 Celsius there at the moment. Feels like 2.9. Oh my gosh, it's not even winter yet. Eek, Stephen. Eek. Well, we could say that we're enjoying a positive trade balance and the economy is booming. More after. Right. Straight up. We're going to get some of these. Oh, look at these high-density offices. Let's get some high-density offices in here. Oh, hang on. I miss... Uh, so, in here is going to be a big parklands, right? A big river riverfront citywide parklands in the front here. But it would be nice to get a big plaza in. I'll be honest. What have I got in the way of... Um, I've, got an in, I've got a couple of industrial being... A dairy house? Delivering delectable dairy delights daily. A fuel plant, fuel production of all types happens here. <gasps> Minus 5% industrial ground pollution citywide. Plus 2% industrial efficiency. Minus 5% air pollution citywide. We've got to get this in. So this is the fuel. It, like in, in all theory, it should be out here. We have to get this in. Yeah, it's got to go in. Uh, remember that. And then what do we got? SwitchCon. Is that like TwitchCon? From the humble toaster to the self-organized shock drawer, this factory makes everything that runs on electricity. So it gives you two to industrial efficiency and one plus college graduation. Okay, we've got a lot of work to do when it comes to industrial. I don't even know where we get that. Mm, we only just got a lot of these farms in last time. We'll do that soon. For the moment, we'll keep going here. Now, um, I wanted plazas and pla parks. And dog park, campsite fight, small plaza, small plaza, park maintenance. 
That's what I wanted there. I could. It doesn't fit. It's just too... It fits there. It's too... Oh, it's just too wide. Like, it fits, like, here. It'd be better, like, here, though. So, um, happy for you to have that there. And then your one, two, three, four, five, six. Two. Three, four. One, two, three, four, five. So you've got to be there. You've basically got to be there, but I don't want it there. I just want you like that. Yeah, that's okay. Right. And then in here, you're going to come straight through there. Okay. That's, uh... Yeah, I'm actually really happy with that. That can go again because I didn't mind having our uh, little road in there. Like that. Yeah, okay, cool. That's got that uh, much better. And then I get the little park in here and then we can put some buildings on the back side of it and I'll put in a path out the back here. Like that. And then we'll put some buildings across the front here. The buildings across the front can be high density business. I think we should peter out a little bit. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll go some of those. Then we're going to go into high density commercial. We need a bit of a street in that block, don't we? Or I could just put parklands in it. So, how about we do this? I'm going to go with some big buildings here, by the way. We're going to leave a... Um, we're going to leave a gap there. Gap there. That building there, I'm going to leave a gap. These are some big buildings. Uh, leave a gap on the corners. No, go with that. We'll see how that goes. Right, and if you don't know what I'm doing... Holy dolly, there we go. We're getting some chunky... Some chunky buildings in now. Here we go. This is going to drive up demand. We're going to have to definitely drive up. Um, we're definitely going to have to. Um, what are you trying to say, Ham? I'm getting there. All right. What I'm trying to say is. I don't know. You're going to have to put a university in. That'll do. We got, that's what I'm trying to say. We're going to put a university in. <laughs> Oh dear. Somebody don't let me forget university in. Okay, and then in here we can have some cool looking parks. Right. Yep, that's how we'll do that. We can put some trees and stuff down here. 
can have a lot of green spaces i think i really want this town to have the city to have some green like some big green spaces in it right I like being able to put in mature trees. That uh, makes the world such a better place in this game. Right, that's fine. Um, give me a couple of these. And then some of these. But right, you don't have to go perfect. And we don't have to go um, with stuff everywhere. Purely because... These could go just a little like fence thing just here. Maybe out one. That's fine just there. Yeah, okay. You want to give the illusion like it's a, it's a nice like traversely green space for people to get between buildings where they can do stuff. Yeah, I think that's going to be quite good. Maybe a big one in there. It'd be nice to have... different trees in here maybe some of these okay i think that's nice we start to do like some of that stuff everywhere it'll be really good the other thing we want to get down here is probably a car park so in here i think is going to be a really good spot for a car park now do we put in one of these big boys i don't think we do because we can't fit it uh a very large parking spot now we are going to set this thing. You could run two at each end if you do that. Hmm. Or I could run them in here, couldn't I? Okay, we'll run it here. And um, we'll run the paths in once again. Okay, I have to fix up those. Can't be running that there. You can go straight through there and you can go up there. Right. Um, I don't know if that's going to work. I don't think it is. No. That will work. 
You know, I actually didn't mind a bit of random, um, tree on the end there, actually. A driving advisory has we'll put some buildings down in the end here. I won't go too nuts conditions. with trees. Please exercise caution if you must drive, and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. A local public service announcement. Second Moon Radio with your host, J. Thomas Hornbuckle. Tune in tomorrow. Good old Hornbuckle, eh? Hey? All right. So we'll put some buildings in between there and that'll come. Or we don't. We just leave it green space just to break up how we've got stuff going here. What I will do is we'll start to get some apartment stuff here. Now, we're going to go with, we're going to try some of the new uh, apartment houses down here. Seeing as this is kind of, we are getting into this high rise apartment section, but I'm thinking we could have some of the new waterfront homes. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's hey. good for business and good for the community. Are they not going to work those two pieces? Maybe not. We'll be back after this. Alright, so this is all going to be housing estate. Are you? What's the deal with you? Nothing. Okay. Odd. Uh, yeah, I kind of, I don't want to, the more I get closer here, the more I'm going to do apartment blocks. So we'll keep the houses sort of over here. Uh, I'm going to mix up how the houses look too. Uh, I'll put some apart. You know what? I'm going to put some a couple of low density buildings just here. Probably um, hmm. This area seems too nice for high density. Or you know what? Low density over here, next to the motorway. That's where low density goes. Low density next to the motorway. Yeah, it's coming along, Johnny. It'll be nice when we get the trams in and when so, once all this downtown area comes in. So over this side here, over this side, uh, I think we'll put in some of the new, uh, some of these buildings, which these are gonna be huge. And once again, we will go with um, a bit of green space down the back here. And the sides. We'll just kind of go with the same sort of, um, same sort of get up. We might have to actually wait. I suppose we don't really have to. Seriously, game.
<laughs> oh dear. Uh, all right, so this one here, we're, we're going to go cross patterns like this. And that's how we're going to do this park, okay? We're going to get that uh, geometric uh, angled look on this park. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, holy, holy moly. <laughs> look at the size of that. Wow. Uh, yeah, we got to get some more industrial stuff. That rinsed the whole budget for that too. If you're wondering why there's no more trees and stuff in. That'd be why. Uh, can I also have that back so I can see what I'm doing, please? No, I can't. So we might just wait for the green spaces. I mean, I can fill in the box. Right, we can fill this in. We don't have to do it everywhere because there are trees around as well. That's fine. All right, so that's that in a hat. Maybe another couple of trees like this. Right, green spaces, and that will fill out eventually as well. So lots of like little plazas and stuff for them to walk around and I think they're going to look really good. You know what I'm, I am going to do right now is we are going to get trams hooked up. That street there doesn't have trams. This one does have trams. I'm thinking about putting a cut through tram road just here. Cat doesn't hurt to have plenty of tram tracks. Just like that. Uh, I might get some apartment blocks down here, hey? What do we got? Low rent, we've got NA medium, we've got NA mix, we've got NA high density housing. Oh, there's some big buildings, right. <laughs> Okay, let's get a tram out of here. I'm back for a minute. What is it that... What is it that is this you building? Uh, what is it that I'm building here? I'm building a downtown section. So over here... Oh, we've got an apartment. We've got an abandoned building. Damn it, that looks nice, that building too. That'll have to grow back at some point. Uh, we're going to have to get a college up. A lot of low income. We might have to get some more industrial up too, hey? We need uh, we need the university up. Ah, we got a lot of... Okay, you know what I'm going to do down here? I'm going to get a bit of industry flagged up. I'm going to get a road around the back here. Let's get a big road. Let's get a, a medium one here. I'm going to run a road straight down the back side here if I can. Sneak under that. Which I can just sneak under. Now, um, we're going to run that straight into here. With a roundabout. So, easiest way is going to be get that. Okay. 
Okay. And then, because we might have some more farm work out here as well. That roundabouts tool. Give me the biggest one you've got. If you can, you can't. Now we can. Groovy. So that's going to go down there and plug into this section just here. But we need a um, roundabout for that section. So downtown will come to this way. Unfortunately, however, we can't squeeze a roundabout there. Oh, we can. The game will let us just. Okay, well, I'll take that. All right, uh, we do have some dirt road up over the back here. Ah, cheeky little dirt road. We'll keep you going like that for the moment. Uh, the other thing down here, which is what we're, we're going to have to do, I've gone ahead and I've now unlocked the ability to get the telecom tower. Don't you have a big condo apartment building in Australia? Yeah, we've got them, Johnny. I just haven't put them in here yet. So what we've got, I've got the telecommunications tower, right? The Center for Media Broadcast Telecommunications and Long Range Cellular, cellular Networks also houses local media headquarters, increases entertainment citywide and attracts tourists. Okay, I was thinking about putting this thing up here. We could actually center it like here and make a bit more of a hill here. So we could make this out, out to be a bit of a feature. Right now, I know what you're thinking, that looks horrible. Just hang on. It kind of makes no sense that that's flat there, but let's just say it got graded. Now the cool thing is we can probably go ahead and do something cool in here when it comes to building stuff. We don't have to make everything flat and everything that one height up the top. We can actually do some stuff to make it look half decent. Uh, now I'm going to leave the sort of rocky craggly look there like that. I'm going to leave that like that because I think that looks good. You're tuned in to Second Moon, the channel where the classics never grow old. Industry in the region is okay. on the rise. And um, is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. For so that's going to sit here. This hour, we're going live to Kim, who is downtown investigating the story behind our declining commercial That's zones. a big space. So yeah, exactly brilliant. Is driving this sudden downswing in business. Kim? It's going to make so many people happy. I'm standing outside what used to be one of the busiest stores in the city. Not long ago, it would open its doors to lines of customers seven days a week. Now the place is shuttered, like most of the commercial buildings on this once thriving city block. And the question on everybody's minds, how could it have come to this? Thanks, Kim. We'll have more with Kim after the break. Right, 
crikeys. Okay, we got there in the end. Uh, right. It's not brilliantly flat, but we're going to go something like this. What are you doing? Oh, crikey's game. What's that about? Right. Uh, and then just give me a little small run about there. Thanks. That's fine. Either way, we've got a big telecom tower, which gives us... Um... It got cloudy at yours, Johnny. You didn't see a thing. I even had my welding mask on. <laughs> Johnny. Is that for the eclipse? That's hilarious. All right. They're abandoned too. We've got to stop this abandoned building stuff. Because the uh, high density. Yeah. Look at that, we rinsed the high density with these two massive buildings. Right, let's get some trams in. We also need more low density residential. Hence the reason why these were popular and we're happy to live right near the um, waterways. Right, we need, we need more housing in. You know what, I'm just going to flag up. I'm going to do this. Let's get uh, that one. We're going to, I'm just going to, you know what, give me the bucket. We're going to go something like this. Switch back to that. Let's get a few different ones. Go some of that. Let's uh, also get some apartment blocks in here. New signature building available. Iron press building. Books and nourish the mind and soul with luxury apartments on top of the bottom floor. We're going to make a feature out of that little place. I'm pretty sure that's this one here. Yep. Yeah. We're going to do a little feature downtown here with it, I think, which will look quite nice. In fact, it might be brilliant. It'll be brilliant where all these are. Oh, it would have been good there. If I can lose the path, it might fit in. However, I don't really want it backing onto a car park. We just have you over there. Sure, do that. And then I guess we just have some more trees and stuff around it. And that'll be that. Because this building here... Gives you 1% attractiveness citywide and 4% to well-being within 750 meters. So that's huge. This downtown section is going to be really nice. Look at the size of these buildings, by the way. It's a bit of an extreme going from that height to that height. It would have been nice to have a few more buildings in between size just hit that, but it's a downtown section, so it is what it is. Right, uh, we've got all these houses coming in here, which is fine. We can load that up with trees after. Um, I'm just wondering, this here, we might be able to get something like that in. Yep. Like that. The UK builds the ugliest skyscrapers. I don't know. Every part, I think everyone, um, there's lots of parts of the world that have um, great skyscrapers. All, all, all parts of the world. We're going to have some up here. It's going to be really nice. We can even write Hamwood. Hamwood. Up. <laughs> Welcome to Hamwood. Actually, no. <clears throat> we don't want to say welcome to Hamwood. That's what she said. 
I don't have my um <laughs> Crikey's. Right, let's get some more low uh, no actually I don't want We'll get in some of these. The bro housing. I'm gonna get in a heap of row housing right there. And then give me now we get a good depiction of what the uh, row housing looks on that side too. Uh, new signature building available. Vertigo Square. Citizens will be dizzy with excitement living here. Right, let's get it in. It's this one here, which is actually the row built. Look at that for a row building. It'd be nice to... um. We can get it on the corner. However, I think it'd be nice if we gave it its own feature lock like that look how cool that looks all right let's get a few more on there more on uh and then the other thing we're going to do here is we're going to do some with shops Get some nice paths in there. Oh, that's that's a lot of residential. Right, we do have tram stops here. I'm trying to give the re a reason for why we've got trams going in places that we do. All right, uh, what we're going to need is we're going to need a hospital facility somewhere. I'm thinking this might be good for a hospital here. However, we've got no rail. I guess people could get the tram. That's the whole point of it. You know what would be brilliant? A big hospital facility out here on this island. Be a nightmare if the bridge went down. <laughs> right. Uh, in the meantime, we could get a medical center up over here. Hospital's quite big. And they're quite noisy too, aren't they? Um... Patient care, what's your, what's your noise status like? Hospital across from here does make sense, doesn't it? We could go to the hospital here, All right? I think the hospital lives in here now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to flatten it to that there we are actually going to sit the hospital we're going to grade it up here a bit higher we're going to make a bit of a feature out of this hospital up here okay and then we're going to bring the street in off here Like it should be about there. What's that? 9.2%. Tell you what, make it flat for the moment, please. So it looks like you're level about there. Okay. So the entrance is like here. Okay. Entrance to there get this hospital up oh you uh, it'd be really good to have it there however I don't know if you're going to be able to fit it there to be honest
Not there, not there. So you will take there. However, you will look silly if you right there. What do you look like? You look like you need the road around that side. So you, why you dip off? Why did you dip off? Uh, now, the only thing is you've got wings there and you've got a pad there. Oh, okay, hang on. No, you will fit where I want you. I thought you had more extensions than that. Trauma center? Okay, you don't. It's the university that does instead. Right, well, if that's the case, then I'm going to sit you actually back here like this. Roads on that side. It's got it right there. Okay, and then to get this going there, we need to go. Ba, 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 ba. 90 degrees there like that we get a nice parallel road there cool it's a bit uh unsightly through there but roads aren't meant to be perfect so just remember that when you go to criticize me a driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve this has been a local public service announcement. Thank you for that. You know what we're going to put here? We're going to put uh, crematorium over here. Rolling blackouts. We urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for these temporary events. This has been a local public service. Yeah, we're going to put a crematorium there. This is Second Moon Radio Classical for the Modern Age. Unlike most modern music classical has always been penned by someone sitting in front of a sheet of blank paper using only their imagination. Ha, huh, interesting ride that is. Through a silent audio masterpiece. Now here we sit listening at full volume and our Um just take that down. But let us not Page up. on to the next episode. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local jar. Yeah, why not? Latte. Why well, not have a lot of that? Tells me. That's good for business. Um, for we'll put in... We'll be back after this. This just in from traffic. If you're thinking about hitting the streets, you can expect delays on the major roads, especially during rush hour. Good to know, Jim. Seems like good to know, Jim. Hurry to get somewhere fast. It's worth slowing down. And if you can, I want that there. I was going to put a car park up here. Oh, I don't know. I'd rather wait an hour in traffic than to have to start thinking about everything all the time. Besides, if I did that, I'd never get anywhere. That's right, Jim. You'd never get anywhere. Uh, can I get that car park in there? It doesn't look like it. I can get a small one in. i tell you what we'll do. Can I get that in out the back here? I can. Can I get a bigger one in? I can't. Right, two car parks out the back. Take off geometry. That's not it. Take off zone snapping. Brilliant. 
Brilliant. Okay, now, can we get that? Right up on that edge, we can. Okay. Oh, lovely. Got some car parking out the back there. We can get some, um, something here potentially. Maybe even some shops, I guess. Just put it in like a little corner store. Does that work? Yeah, a little corner store works. Could even put some little corner stores here, I think. No, your entrance is the wrong spot. I'll leave that. I'll hold out there. I'll put some tree work in. Yeah, I'll put some tree work in and around here. But that's got the hospital up and running. So that's huge, right? Now, if we're going to have a hospital, we're going to need a university. Because we've got a lot of highly uneducated people. Well, we've got a lot of people that we require high education for, put it that way. Now, we either run a university out here and we go gangbusters with this town out here. Or the university. Um, this was a. It was either a university in this little spot in here or over here. It probably makes sense to have it here, considering. We've got a tech university and a medical. So we'll just go with the regular university in here, I think, for the moment. So, this is how it's going to go. Right, we need a road straight out here, please. Good. That can stay in there because we can put some buildings in there. It doesn't even matter that it's a dead end. It's fine. Uh, we will be putting a road back there like that. And then connecting with that. Okay. Difficult sometimes. I'm going to leave some decorations there. Right. Um, university. It's going to sit basically like there. Nice and flat through there for us. We're going to have you set to about there. That's going to make the whole place rejoice. It's going to, what it's going to do, all the, having all this stuff down here is going to help with our, uh, our industry for trams, buses, and trains right here. Very centralized. It's going to help us with that. Right. Now, we do have university libraries which click on like that. So that worked a treat there, right? They just clip on the end like that. And we've got another um, campus bit here, which is like that. It's a shame we can't go ahead and put it right down the middle here. Although we can. We can just do away with those roads right there, can we? No. What if we see you... I really wanted that there. 
However, I don't think we can do that now. Not unless I move you. I shouldn't have put that thing in. Now I've got to delete it, I think. Yeah, if you sort of sit, um... It's no good. Also, this, uh, you can't do it, huh? Yeah, I've got to delete it. It's kind of how I want it, but not kind of how I want it. If that makes sense. That's a waste of money, by the way. What if we have it here? Right, is that enough room? You need to go over one more block, please. One more block. Which means now we can get... Yeah, that, so they fit on there perfectly. So that can actually go... It can actually sit... Can we sit you? Right, but we can run a road down the back here, so I'm not really worried about that. You have a slight uphill, and I actually don't mind that because you retain that wall really nicely. I actually really like that. We can take the road straight up here then. Um, point three. That's a complete mess. That's not how that was supposed to go. That's kind of better. Now, uh, this here, that does fit there, by the way. You're saying here you don't have a road there, but I beg to differ, you do. Okay, if that's if that's all it takes to sort you out, I'm happy to just put that little bit of road in there. I'll be honest. Probably not at that angle though, if we can not have that. That's better. Slightly better anyway. Um yeah, because that's gotta be their entrance into the car park, which is actually okay. I don't I don't even care that that's not all the way around. What I will do Give me strength. Please give me strength. Marakis. Okay. 
and then obviously on here we're going to be able to put libraries and then we've got the extension wing there so all in all that's not too bad now we've got this rope up the back here we can do something with basically like that we could actually take just too long so that's fully there i want to go to about here though i think I reckon that would be horrible out there. Okay, I'm gonna leave that. Because <laughs> you're not doing uh, what I clearly would want you to do. Can you just give me that? I might just try and... I'm gonna try and see if I can get... Um... Okay, let's try that. Recent spikes in demand have led to temporary local shortages in the city's fresh water supply. The public should be aware that we are struggling to get the situation in hand. This has been a local public service announcement. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. You're listening to Second Moon, the station for the culture. Yay! Got it. Oh man, oh man. All right. Um, university's in place. Do I need any more parking? I don't think we do. Here we have some perfectly. I really don't think we do. If anything. My dear. Professor Hornbuckle. <laughs> well, no, I don't I think we do. No It'll be fine. For my erudite, modesty demands that I prevaricate against the title. I am but a humble devotee of the form, and all my expertise derives merely from a life devoted to... Don't move it. Uh, arts. Though I do thank you for... There's the just a lot of work that has to happen down here to uh, this. But I digest to continue... Uh, Professor Hornbuckle, as a traveler from my homeland, I long to hear a tune that speaks to the anguish of my road-weary soul. Hmm. There now, my good fellow, chin up, as it were. No need to wallow in sediment. Leave that to those poet chaps. What is this guy on about? A tune just for you, and I do hope it provides your aching spirit some modest desolation. Industry in the region is on the rise, and when business is doing well, that floats our boat. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. We're we're live, um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, okay. somewhere uh, in the city. Road somewhere uh, in the city. And traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you... Uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, that guy's journalism is second to none. Okay, brilliant. So we've got some green space for the university. What we're going to do is we're going to get some low rent housing out here. Uh, so we want low rent housing and it's going to go, low rent housing is actually going to go like all the way along here. Okay. Low rent housing, uh, with some shops in between. And we're just going to put some regular little old shops in, right? It's good to keep tucking shops in and around this area. Right, then we're going to get in some homes that look like 
campus homes. I want to say that, but I want them to have pools and I want them to be like one. I want it to be like one building. What's the biggest you can be? Potentially like a three by three. Okay. Can you be a four by four? I think you have to be like this way, don't you? Four by four. No, just wants to go two by two. Ah, uh, okay. Stick with that. We'll go another three by three here. And then on here, we'll actually do this. We'll just see how big you want to make these. Well, that's a big building. Okay. some big buildings by the way uh and we will do some row housing down here hold up by a little bit more of that okay and then that should be a good uh good mix of that in there anyway let's get in wasn't that one this is the one I like here I love this that tree okay brilliant and then uh, can we get in just an individual bish bash bosh that should be coming up there nicely now. And then all this in here is just nice big green walking space that we can actually do this now. Right, and then get me the bigger one. Right, nice. Oh, we've got to make this look like a fancy university, right? It's got to have some kind of fancy entranceway. When you walk down for your first time walking through these uh, grounds. Hey, we got a milestone. Unle big city. We are a big city. Hospital on an island sounds like a horror movie plot. <laughs> that um, When I was thinking about that hospital on the island before, I was like, good point. It sounds like a horror movie. Uh, but it also, imagine if the bridges break down or there's traffic congestion on bridges each side and no one can get there. Developments, all right. Um, we've got some, we've definitely got some more development points and we've got some map tiles to unlock too, which is really good, which is what we need. How many points have I got? I've got 11. Underground parking building large i haven't even used an emergency so you know what we will get an emergency shelter up 
Uh, the university, we've got the radio telescope. The technical, a technical university provides academic learning for the technical orientated, increasing the efficiency of office, uh, offices and industrial companies. So we will go ahead and get that. That will be the next one we get, I think, I reckon. Uh, in terms of telecommunication, we've got server farms. I'm not worried about that stuff yet. Tourist attractions, I'm going to unlock that. And that's going to be, that's going to rinse our budget in terms of tourism. But it means we can get the statue of Hamity. <laughs> Look at that. I thought it was a dude with a basketball then, <laughs> but it's not. Hang on, did water park? It's smaller than the water park we've got. This down here could be a thing though. Medieval castle. <gasps> we don't know the land, but you know what I mean. Medieval castle could go. Oh, we got lots of options. By the way, the university is already being utilized. Wow. Okay. Employees 38. Noise pollution is a lot. We'll get in some more apartment offices down here. I want to get some more parklands up though. Yeah, these look great. These look like dormitory buildings, which is what I was kind of, They will when they um, sort of arc up and get a bit bigger. It's kind of what I was going for down there. Right now, um, just you guys here need to go down this way. Like that. Then back to you at plus one. Right, um, go back to that and go. Give me some big trees, please. Give me a line of these. Perfect. Okay. That'll be fine. Ba, 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 ba. Just got to sprinkle some of these in and around. Right, just so we get this nice, beautiful look there. Right, we've got more abandoned buildings, which sucks. But you're kind of ugly anyway. Yeah, we've lost a lot of our appeal up there. Right, how are we doing down here, by the way? Holy snapping duckfish, we got those in. That, um... That seems a little big for those. That's... That looks ridiculous there. It kind of needs to sit like here. It needs to sit there. Uh, 
Uh, now, are these what? Um, are they North America or are they European? Oh, bugger. Um, I'm going to go with North American. I think these are European, are they not? Oh no, they're North American there. These are European. European have the pitched roofs. Okay, I think that's it. I think the Europeans have the pitched roof. and demand have led to temporary local shortages in the city's fresh water supply. The Ugh. public should be aware that we are struggling to get the situation in hand. We're struggling with water. This has been a local public service announcement. Pending up. Water availability? No, we're not. We got heaps of water availability. Experiencing rolling blackouts. Well, we don't, we don't have blackouts. We got heaps of power. These breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan for the radio. The okay, don't listen to the news, anyone. The news is wrong. Local public service announcement. <laughs> What's this? Advanced filtration increases the sewage purification rate, resulting in more sewage being turned back into fresh water. Oh, oh, uh, sorry about that. It's uh, nothing important. I just lost my keys. I'm sure they'll turn up. They're for the brown sedan parked outside the radio station. Oh, wait, I probably shouldn't have said that if anyone finds them. Please, don't, don't steal my car. I mean, the old hornbuckle mobile, please. Oh, good. Here they are. Well, never mind them. <laughs> Thank you for listening to uh, Second Moon. We're, we're live, um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance service have already been dispatched and traffic flow should return to normal but if you're planning a quick trip out you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up if you're in it you uh, you already know about it no use reminding you meanwhile uh, expect delays and fake news Johnny exactly right friend I the region is on the rise, fake news when business is doing well that floats our all right no so we're gonna, gonna need a um we need our trams in yeah I think we should get the trams in and get people lifted and shifted. We can also do a direct bus route from here. We go buses and we go new. I'm literally going to do this. We're going to go um, this bus here. It's literally just going to run out to this bus station and back. Oh, crikey. So I was like, where is it? Yeah. All right. And you're going to be called. Um, is it this one I just put in? Yes. Uh, we're going to call you. Um, city commuter. No, city. Um, city one. Uh, city two. I don't know. City to uni. Um, and uh, point to point. Point to point. We're just going to put that. PT poo. Uh, P2P. City to uni, point to point. We're just going to leave it at that. Can I also just see that line for a sec? Because I want to get uh, ticket prices right down to like three bucks. Okay, that's the city to, city to uni.
There probably needs to be more of a car park around here, but I'm okay at the moment, I think. I think we'll be all right. Let's um, also... Oh, we're also getting a great demand back for a lot of stuff too. So you can see all this has started to fill right in. Ah, uh, this is exciting because it's going to make, make us have to get in more, more and more other stuff. Also, these little homes down here look silly. Although that big home looks cool. Look at that. Get some trees and stuff up around here. That actually looks all right. What we'll do, uh, what we'll do here. We'll do this, but we'll use the North American row housing. Can I squeeze one back here? I don't think I can. No, not without upsetting that. It's a shame, you know, I can't get that in there. I can. These, these buildings just have to shorten up. So I bug them. They just have to shorten up because I'm putting it in. I'm putting it in. Just the same as I'm putting in one there. Because I want to have a walking track out the back of um, these. Yeah, that's about it. Just like that. Then we can fill up trees and stuff. And people can just get around. And that's kind of what you want. What we're going to need to do is put some parklands in down here. So we'll go ahead and get a dog park in. Dog parks are my favorite. Because uh, because I have a dog, potentially. Uh, we could definitely put a dog park here on the corner. And we'll go another dog park there. Actually, we'll go one like this. Yes, we'll go dog park exactly there. Nice. Does that work or not? No, that doesn't work. What? Uh, will this work here? That works there. No way. They face the other way. Well, you know what we're putting there, then. We're going to put that there. And then we're going to put uh, maybe a couple of homes here. No, we're not. Yeah, that's going to be big, but I'm happy for it to stay there. Yeah, bugger it. It's fine. It'll be fine. Put some trees and stuff in and around there. That'll be fine. And then we'll go some... We'll peter it down to some more home stuff here. So what we'll do is we'll get like... Um, I'll get in some low res there. I really don't like that. I 
Okay, whatever. Okay. Sorry about your house. Sorry, not sorry. Gonna go like that. I'll leave it. Your house survives today, friendo. That can go like that. All right. And that's not too bad, but it needs to peter out because you got homes right here and that looks silly. So for those poor people in the home, this is what's going to happen to you. Yep, so we'll do that. And then in here we can get a park, another park. So we'll get like a sporting one. And an outdoor gym. Needs a road. Bang. Oh no! Is that, um, what is that? What was that? Because I think we might put in that. This didn't help us. Uh, we've got to, all right, heat this down. So that is comfortable woven tag. These are modest. They're average. That's, that's low rent. Let's go with... What have we got here in terms of that? We've only got that. We've only got those. So we'll go with some big home plots right there. I think that'll be fine. That's kind of what we're going to do there. Yeah, that'll be fine. A little bit strange along the front here. Like these ones here aren't quite right. I think we need to do more like this. As good as they looked, uh, yeah, and you, you're kind of wrong too. So what I actually want to do is I want to give a little dead end street here. Like that. Um, that's still going to be too big potentially, but I'm going to leave it. These beachfront homes are kind of cool, but I'll be honest. Look at the size of these things. Right. We haven't done trams yet. I'm well aware of that. When you when you played this game last, uh, you had you banned dogs and had no smoking law, <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> look at this downtown. This is ridiculous already. Right. These little parks are going to look good when they're all done up. And you've got the big center place around here. This is going to look good down the front here. We do have some small demand for that. We've got demand for commercial. Don't think high density commercial though, do we? Um, look. Let's go with some of that. Try some of this just here. A 
driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive, and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service. Yeah, nice. No, that works. Right. So they're going to be quite sizable, those buildings themselves. I did want to put something down here, like a, like some... Yeah, so that's not going to work for me. If you must drive, then try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. Second Moon Radio. Because down here I was going to put um, Tune in tomorrow for a second chance like to hear this. the music of yesteryear. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. Yeah. We'll be back oh. after this. Do that there. This just in from traffic. If you're thinking about hitting the streets, you can expect delays on the major roads, especially during rush hour. Good to know, Jim. Seems good like to know, Jim. <laughs> I don't it's care, Jim, is basically what she's saying. You can plan your trip outside the rush. Oh, I don't know. I'd rather wait an hour in traffic than to have to start thinking about everything. Good for so you, Jim. If I did that, I'd never <laughs> get anywhere. Uh, all right. So back here, I'm going to go some buildings. Then I'm going to dip back down to residential. Uh, low residence like this. Except I'm going to sort of... I'm going to have a bit of like... I'm going to take a bit of liberty right here uh, because I don't generally paint like this, but today I've decided I'm going to. Right, we're going to get some more shops and stuff in here, but I want some low... Um, yes, just some regular shops. Then we're going to put a bit of a car park section up the back here. Population ever increasing. We're almost at 20,000. Holy moly, we're making a lot of good money now. We really got to meet demands with our industries as well. And we have to keep an eye on our water. So we're still okay. Electricity. We might need to um, look at doing some upgrades here. What do we got? Additional turbine. Increases power output and adds another power line connector do it what do we got here uh binary cycle power plant allows the power plant to use lower geothermal temperatures which increases power output somewhat high voltage substation allows for a new power line to be built from we don't need that yet that's gonna hurt me here but not that much it's gonna mean that power should yeah power's gone way up again A lot of car accidents. Look at all the car accidents. Oh no, it just means heavy traffic. Yes, wait till the trams start coming through. Then we'll talk about heavy... Oh yeah, look at the... Oh my gosh! The traffic! Chaos! I love it. Oh, why do I smile about the chaos so much? Right, we've got to get in... Um, the trams. Let's do the trams now. Alright, tram colour please. You know what? Let's watch things going on down. Actually, let's watch things. Actually, trains are coming in. All sorts of stuff happening here. But let's watch the new section where we've been building up over here. The chaos. Oh my giddy odds. Look at the, the amount of vehicles down this road. I'm trying to get you a good spot to um, watch while I... Uh... Oh my gosh, traffic watch. All right, I'm going to take a bio break. We've been going for eight.
All right, transit lanes. Wait till we, we're gonna have trams rolling through here shortly. <laughs> no, it's gonna be bad. All right, let's get the trams on. Because people are gonna hate that. I can clear out these roads though. I can literally do this, uh, which we might have to do. We might have to do some of this. We might have to get people off the main, just off the main roads where we're gonna have um, tram lines. So I'm gonna put this all the way along here, all the way along this main road. And the same back the other way. Okay, and then there's obviously stations there, right? So we're gonna also gonna put trees along the boulevard. This is called Foggy Street. I don't think it is. I think because of because this street, right? This is a pretty main uh, main street, right? We look at the size of Foggy Street here. How can I do this? Um, here we go, Foggy Street. Foggy Street goes all the way. You can see how far Foggy Street goes. It's pretty, and it's a pretty main road here. So we're going to actually be calling this. Johnny H. The Johnny H way. Welcome to the Johnny H way. No tram parking on, uh, no parking on tram lines. That's exactly right, Johnny. Just massive amounts of traffic. Holy moly. I might have to... What I might have to do is I might have to do this um, crap sandwich. I don't think I can. I was going to upgrade this road here. But doing that's going to be nightmarish through here. Well, uh, I've got an idea. Where's most of the traffic coming from? Let's do, let's um, upgrade it into... Um, like that. Can't do that. You're going to have a weird bridge because you're not letting me upgrade that. Is that why? Is that right? That's right. Okay. It still doesn't help our traffic coming from that direction, but it kind of does. Oh, wow, you're not letting me do any of that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. The traffic is banked right back. <laughs> okay. You can have two lanes that way. Holy snapping duckfish. You can have two lanes that way. Wow. You can have two lanes that way. These asymmetrical roads are a godsend. It's still not helping us massively. Let's see if let's see if this stuff just clears up. Uh, one other thing that will help clear all this traffic up, right? Sounds stupid, but it's getting rid of the traffic lights themselves. If you get rid of the traffic lights, what starts to happen is you start to free up the cars. They start to just give way and go a bit quicker. just give this a chance to clear up a little bit. I'm going to get rid of them all the way along here. All the way up to here, we'll leave them. As long as the traffic can flow through this area, which it's starting to now. Yeah, that's... 
We might have to put a giveaway sign, eh? <laughs> how about you have a stop sign instead? Right, now they're clear, so look at that. All that's been cleared out now, actually. So the traffic can go. That's got the flow of things working way better. We'll put some stop signs here, too. We did it, Johnny. We cleared the traffic for the moment. Right, tram lines now. Let's go back to that, by the way. Um, tram lines now. Sorry, I've got a runny nose. I'm going to go. We've been streaming well today, Johnny. I'm excited for this week. Okay. We're going to go with green. I want to have green trams. Got to be like that. Kind of like a foresty kind of green color, right? Is what I'm going for here. Okay, so let's say you come out of the station here. First trams are going to come down this way. Oh, now. Yeah, because we're going to come around that way. First tram will stop here. That's going to go there. Is that not a tram stop? Oh, it's not for both ways. Uh, you're going to come up here. We're going to have to get you a turn in just here. Well, you're going to need a tram turn in there as well. Like that. So you'll find that you're now you're going to have a tram stop here. Has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until yeah. conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please I'm just wondering if... Yeah, we'll pull down there, I think. And ...try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This is Okay, so this is what we're going to do with the um, with the tram line. This is Second Moon with J. Let's say, uh, let's say, uh, let's say this is our first point here, right? So we'll say this one. It's then going to come around here. For our newer, less able listeners, first yep. we will be dancing through the al dent section before entering the eh. Sour Largo movement. Finally, then savoring the vivacious eh. anti pasto movement. So, without further ado, let's raise the curtain and begin. Eh. Local stargazer. Then you're coming up here. Treat tonight. As the we pull into there. Is expected to light up the night sky. That's right, Jim. Don't forget to look. Swinging up past the university promises. probably would have been a good idea, but people can walk from there. This That's fine. From traffic. If you're uh, then we'll stop here. The streets, you can expect delays on the major roads. I'm thinking we should definitely have a stop here. Seems like everyone. But I'll hold out. I can always add one in. It's worth slowing down. And if you can, plan your trip outside the rush. Oh, I don't know. I'd rather wait an hour in traffic than to have to start thinking about everything all the time. Besides, if I did that, I'd never get anywhere. Right. So this gang is tram number one. Let's head over here now because uh, actually we'll call this... Um... No, 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 no. Trams, please. Pause. Pause the tram. Okay, so tram. 
This is going to be called um, Downtown. Downtown Tram 1. Uh, you know what? You know what? For some weird reason, we're going to call it the 501 because I feel like with there's weird numbers. Downtown Tram 501. Then it's going to go 502 for the second tram and so on and so forth. Uh, we're going to go ticket prices down to 5 bucks. Assigned vehicles, I don't want that many, so we're gonna go uh, we're gonna go eight to start with. And we're gonna come up over here and check our trams to watch them come out of the uh, tram stop. Here they come. I like it in the green, I'll be honest. Oh, we're going the other way. really good if um I think there is the camera mod I can use in Toronto the 501 streetcar line is the I feel like that's what they are in Melbourne too Johnny like I feel like that's what they're supposed to be if you're doing trams You've got to designate it a 50 something tram number. <laughs> One second, I'm gonna get my nose, uh, I'm gonna get a tissue and blow my nose. I'm not gonna get my nose and blow a tissue. But I kind of am. Whatever. We've stopped. We've got trams everywhere. We, we literally have trams everywhere. Okay, we're heading the right direction, so it's not bothering me. I think we've got to stop here somewhere, do we? We do. Tram stop right here, blocking all of the road. In the true sense of the word, thank you, government, for blocking all of the road while I'm trying to get... I'm late for my class. But you should have got the tram. This is cool. We get to do track rides everywhere today. They even look like your new street cars. They look like the new ones in Melbourne and uh, the ones uh, the ones we've got on the Gold Coast too. Must be a pretty generic 2020s uh, design, is it? They just go, here's the design for the for trams around the world. Go nuts. Every time we get that hitch, that's the game doing a save. I've got it setting like I've got it saving like every five minutes or something, I think, today. Oh, we've got a very bad kink in the road here. little bit of speed little I got lots of kinks in the road I need to go and iron out um up in here I think we're going to turn this into a big industrial park area so we're going to have a lot of industry buildings go in here very shortly traffic lights I think we'll go to give way through there traffic lights seem a little much
And look at it burn up this road though. Then it can get some speed on. How quick does it go at times one speed? You know what we don't have in Australia? Our traffic lights aren't yellow like that. We've just got black boxes around our traffic lights. Yeah, this, these yellow boxes are definitely not what we have. What? How is there... How is there a person here waiting? <laughs> Where did you come from, buddy? I swear to God, if there's a person out here, I'll be like, what are you even doing out here? Speaking of suburbs, though, you were saying before you put the bands on, I've actually got to go and put some suburbs on. We'll do that very shortly. Right, that's a bit of a sharp bend. I don't know about that. I think we're going to have to do... A, I'm going to have to do something like a nice curve there, I think. Like I did down there. Because that's horrendous. Okay. We'll fix that shortly. I'm just glad we finally got some trams in today. Oh, yeah, another stop. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually chuffed in the fact that we've got some um, trams going today. And we've got this downtown area going in. Look at the size of these buildings. Ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. Look at all the people here. What? That's crazy! Already! People want to get lifted and shifted. Hey, anybody see where our tram just went? Our... Our tram just disappeared. Well, there's another one coming. Look at all the people down here, too. 73 waiting. There's actual people in the gym. All right, I haven't seen these animations before. He's actually doing chin-ups, push-ups, star jumps. Are there people in here? Uh, oh, here comes a tram. About time. Where have you been? All these people are waiting. They all got on. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. Okay. Well, we definitely need more people. More people. Uh, let's throw a heap of these in. Wait. Are you, um... Right, you just, you just are what you are.
Yeah, I feel like that was the only thing I could do there. I'll leave a little gap here for some stuff. Maybe even like that and leave a gap there for a path to go through. Exactly like that. Same here. I'll um, go to there. Yeah, that'll work. Cool. Um, holy moly. It's so big, those buildings. Down on here, you know, I think we will go something like that. A driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Yeah, okay, whatever. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. I, I don't mind how there's like kind of not high rises through every section. We've kind of got this lull and it dips down. It just sort of breaks up the skyline a little bit, which is quite kind of good. This just in from traffic. If you're thinking about hitting the streets, you can expect delays on the major roads, especially during rush hour. Good to know, Jim. Seems Good to know. I'm going to put low rent housing over here. It's worth slowing down. And if you can, plan your trip outside the road. Yeah, I'm going to make that all low rent because it's directly opposite the hospital. Same with these. I'm going to make them all low rent. And on to our main feature story. The commercial district is booming. Uh, except I'm going to have that on the corner there like that. High-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our neighborhood. You can now shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva Mate. Or so my wife tells me. That's good for business. And well, I love having little corner stores. I think they're just brilliant. We'll be back after this. Now, in here, I think we'll go with... Yep, some of that. Some of that. And then... I'm going to go with some low... Am I here? There's car parks around here. Yeah, because yeah, there's low density. I might go with... We probably need more of a car park in here. Yeah, exactly like that. It's going to help service all this area. And then um, I suppose, I don't think I can fit in. Nothing there. I could probably fit in a little strip. No, not even that. Uh, okay, well, paths. Um, I'll tell you what I haven't done, which which is going to cause some massive traffic headaches if I don't, is get rid of half of these um, zebra crossings. Right there. You just don't need them everywhere. I'll put that one back. You can have that one gone. That one gone. 
You don't need them everywhere like this. It's ridiculous. Uh, even that, we'll just have it on two. Look, uh, that's ridiculous. We don't need that many. There's that, that one right there. I will put in a crossing just there. Because there's a path right there, so that's fine. Don't need that. You, I will put one, I'll leave one there. That makes sense. Leave that where the path is. That can stay there. That can go there. Yeah, you get the idea though. There's a lot of culling you have to do for um, walkways sometimes. A bit, it's a bit overboard. That'll help those people out a lot more through there. What I'll do through here, once again, just do something like this. Doesn't even matter that it's different or like not, not exactly perfect. Uh, the next best bet is to have to just, you have to just get stuff in and around. Yeah, you start to just throw some stuff around and um Yep, perfect. Better better Ba ba This will be even better actually cuz I can just put it in like this. Yada ba. Get in some little, little poplar ones like that. Get in a few of them. Let's get in, um, where's my favorite one? This one. Love this one. Some of those in there. You know, just start to get the get the old trees in and around the place. Right, just just thickens up the density in and around the home, so it makes it look a little bit like it's been there. It's not just been placed in, like people have been living here for a while. Yes, good. Get that up there. Get that in around there. Change up the tree a little bit. That didn't change up the tree a little bit at all. Nice. Couple of big ones around there like that. Right. Just starts to flesh it out a little bit. Just so we don't have the same boring old stuff. Yeah, it just makes these buildings start to look less locked in and more like stuff actually is meant to be how it is. You know, like give me that one, take it right down to here. 
Do some in there like that. Just starts to like flesh out this uh, place down here a little bit. I have a couple of pine trees between your homes and a couple of, you know, have that. Get a pine tree in somewhere. Sort of softens the, um, the angles of the homes joining as well. You get what I mean. Right, like that. Just sort of breaks up, uh, breaks everything up. Bit of tree work never hurt anyone. Bit of tree action. Really would have liked. I wonder if I can get poplar there or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I want. Them. Perfect. Gosh, they're... I don't say it, Ham. I was about to say their bushes are small. Let's see if we can just, uh, let's see if we can wait, wait for Dan to wake up, hey? Johnny, how's that, uh, gummy going? Did you have a gummy? All of a sudden, like, just, just doing that gives it a really nice, uh, really nice uplift down here. Nice little face lift. And then down along the um, waterfront here, I was going to put running tracks in. So I was going to do something like this. We might actually start from across here, eh? And then obviously this this is going to be so if you imagine if you imagine this thing here it's going to be like tourist it's going to be a tourist park it's going to be like a big botanical gardens we're going to have like lots of paths that flow through people can go for jogging jog through there like cafes things like that all through this sort of section uh right and every now and then what we do is we just run a little um line Like that, to the intersections, so people can come and join in. One might say that's quite steep there. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to be covered in trees and stuff as well anyway. That's a horrendous bit of pathing. Damn, what are you? You guys are this. Driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road. That's a shame. I like that building. Exercise oh wait, is that just? Try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. 
Yeah, it is. This has been a local it's a shame. Public service I like that building. Has anyone seen my keys? My keys. What? We're in the air. Oh, oh. Uh, sorry about that. It's up. Uh, I just lost my keys. I'm sure they'll turn up. They're for the brown sedan parked outside the radio station. Oh, wait. I probably shouldn't have said that. If anyone finds them, please <laughs> don't just sort don't that out later. Steal my car. I mean, the old hornbuckle mobile, please. Oh, good. Here they are. Well, never mind that. <laughs> Thank you for listening to uh, Second Moon. We're we're live. That uh, one just doesn't want to play the game, probably, does it? Accident, uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched, and traffic flow. That's gonna have to do it. Normal. But if you're um, down here, out, I'm gonna put some shops along the front. Until everything clears up. Because why here, not? You already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, expect delays and drive safe. Industry yeah. in the region is on the rise, and when Same business here. is doing well, the shops here. Floats our boats. There's no sinking this boat, Glenda. Okay. Um, and then obviously I'm not gonna go gangbusters with the trees. I'll just do the trees like this. I can do with that. Oh wait, and of course, clearly, we're going to have to put in, because we've got the new trees, remember? The old palm trees. How have we forgotten that? Um, probably going to have to go more like that. Even more. I want a decent gap on these. Oh, yeah, you gotta have the palm trees. They don't have to be perfect either. Just enough. Like that just so they sprinkle through and then get these different ones hey look at that spectacular Make sure there are no weeds. Shh, don't say, the, don't say the word weeds, Johnny. You know what happens. Yeah, nice. Okay. And then the city gets to look back over the, uh, over the original part of downtown. With the canals and everything. I haven't continued the canals through here, but we... I don't think we will either. I don't think... I mean, I could make a big body of water out the back here, which actually might look right that makes sense so we could uh yeah i we could make this a whole water feature at the back here i'll leave it though for the moment what are we in demand for everything Uh, we'll do more shops and residential there, and then what are you barking about over here? Then we'll go NA high density. No, we won't go high density. We'll go medium. New signature building available, Polaris Suites. Residents will enjoy the atmosphere of this smooth, luxurious building. Okay, let's have a look at it. Wow, it's quite uh, quite a humdinger. It would look good right here. Yeah. 
It really needs to be in here, doesn't it? It's quite big, to be honest. It could literally sit like here. And it, it could sit here and have its own feature. So you know what? I'm going to sit it right here. I'm going to sit it there and I think that will look really good right there. It can be its own feature. It can have a little side street in here. Almost like a bit of holiday apartments if you want to think of it that way. Um, and then obviously this. Ah, oh, except the road's on the other side, Ham. Um, what I will go ahead and do... Give me a little bit of land like that around here, please. Now, if you kind of figured out what I'm doing here. Um, yeah, it's kind of a little side street, but it needs to hook up to that. Right, that got, that's sort of got what I wanted. Sort of. Uh, what we're going to do here. It's going to be tricky. I'm wondering if I can do medium housing. Right, we'll go with some European medium apartments like this. Um, then we're going to go some ones with shops then we're gonna go uh we're gonna go some more um medium but we're gonna mix up how we're gonna do it New signature building. Car um, Corundum condos. Let's have a look at it. We don't want to spend everything over here. Is this it here? No, this is it here. That's the condos right there. We've got a lot of special buildings around each other. The, the, maybe the condos could go. Maybe finally the condos could go up here. Although they look kind of special, they kind of need their own. Yeah, they kind of need their own little um, section, don't they? Like up here or something. 
Might be nice up here for them. They go on the golf course? Oh, and the golf course could be up here, Johnny. Yeah, well, we'll get back to those. We've also got these. Luxurious living space atop a high-end restaurant. Oh, that, you've got to put the high-end restaurant down near the waterfront somewhere, surely. Like, if anything, it should have probably been here. Oh, wow, there's too many of those right next to each other. It could sit over here, you know. Or we can hold out and we can potentially put it around this side, which this might be better around here. Yeah, I might hold on to some of these buildings for the riverfront uh, tourist attraction sort of areas, which I'm going to do down along here. So we'll hold out for that. We'll keep going with what we're doing. Which we were filling out up the back here. EU low density waterfront housing. I don't want that. Just let me have a look at some of the high density stuff. That's too big. Okay, that's way too big. That's better. It's got to be like three by threes. housing is down there whoa they're big they're chungus right then what's going to happen here is we're going to get a street connection Yes, good. Yeah, that's perfect because it's kind of in line with you've got these older school buildings in the background and then they put the feature one in the foreground. Yeah, that's good. That's getting the vibe I want through there. It's really good. This just in from traffic. If you're thinking about hitting the streets, you can expect delays on the major roads, especially during rush hour. Good to know, Jim. Good to know, Jim. Good to know, Jim. I don't care. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what we're going to put. We're going to go like this here. I'm going to have to start thinking about everything all the time. Besides, if I did that, I'd never get anywhere. Poor Jim doesn't get anywhere. Um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you, uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, uh, expect delays and drive safe. Okay, because we've got trams coming along here, I'm going to stop um, all that parking there. On that right-hand side. Uh, okay, you can park on the inside shoulder, but not on the outside one. But this is kind of not bad. Yeah, good. Use the car park. All right, those buildings are up and running too around the scale there. Then you'll, we'll have some buildings up the top there, and then we'll have tree line. 
tree line all through here which will actually look good this is filling out nicely today what do you think of that so far yeah how good uh, johnny don't you agree there needs to be a golf golf uh simulator game golf sim or something where, where you make your own golf course and you have to get people to come out you've got to try and get yourself to the point where you can build a golf course uh in the future that is like what's this by the way yeah you know what i mean anyway you get what i mean how good would the sky needle be in here like that the size of that thing by the way Is there like some kind of shopping mall? No. This downtown here would be good if we made a feature out of it, but yeah, anyway. Oh, what do we have here? National Diet Building? <laughs> Throw that out the window. Botanical Garden. That's what we're going to be putting over here. We're going to be putting a botanical garden in here. With the Fergus wheels, maybe a lot of lot of this cool stuff we might put in. Bell Tower, National like, National Gallery of Art. Oh, look at how good that'd be! Like straight down the guts here, or in here, or something, you know. that wow okay cool landmarks hey eh? notre dame stop it put notre dame out here ah in the meantime downtown i just don't want a uh, large city park that might be okay here yeah that that's gonna be what i want Okay, cool. All right, Gucci. So if we press play, that should fix that. Electricity. Yep, cool. All right. Now, did I just say that you can put buildings in there now we're gonna chuck up um these all along here good um and then that should be that oh yeah let's use palm trees downtown Oh, heck yeah. Uh, we'll do the same strip up the back here like this. Right, and then we'll change up the tree to be these ones. Down here. Okay, good. That's it there.
Brilliant. Oh, yeah, you're going to have the palm trees downtown. And then we'll get some... Uh, then we'll go back to this. Because uh, I just want to... Uh, it's really hard to see. These uh, building... These buildings are... Uh, quite uh, shadowy. I don't think you're going to get that in. No. Don't worry about it. That's probably enough for the, for the time being. That'll be it. That'll be enough for the, for the moment, hey? Yeah, that's nice. A couple of green spaces downtown uh, with only just a couple of small buildings to block it. I, I'm kind of all about it. Now, we've got the technical university here just so you can get a grasp on the size of this thing. That's the uni we had before. This is the tech uni with, and this is the tech uni without all the buildings. So yeah. It's still saying, look, holy moly, 1,275 people. Uh, let's get um, university library on board. What's that? Uh, extension wing. We're doing all right money wise. We can get another library on here. The libraries, um. Yeah, fair enough. I'm going to leave it at that. But that's definitely, wow. The capacity. Christ. We get a few more buildings in here. It looks quite, it's going to look quite good down here, especially we line the, the rail track and the roads and everything. The trams coming over. It's, it's going to look really nice out down in through here. And you can see off in the distance, the skyline we've got now. So that's kind of the view you get from the university. That's pretty cool. Actually, I'm happy with that so far. We'll have stuff going out that way. Yeah, it's coming along nicely. We'll fill in this space here and just get this done for today. Uh, now, I'm going to put in a little bit more housing. Which we've got pegged in here, but... It doesn't want to take to it. Um, it tells me that there's something going on with the... Right, then run this path uh, down the back here. Right. I don't know why you decided that you can't have that anymore, but that's ridiculous. So let's fix you up. Okay, you're good. Okay, you guys are building back up. Um, let's get a couple of... Um, what I'm going to do here to break up the house to building, we're going to put the... We're going to put these ones in here. That's got that working treat. Nice. Row housing, what I'm saying. Uh, we're going to go some row housing here. Odd that it does that. And like, I kind of get why it does it. But it's still annoying. Like, now I have to... Hey, buddy. Oh, it's because you're set this way. All right, I need to actually do this. Yeah. I thought so. 
And then if I want you to be a thing there, I have to do that. Right, now you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. There we go. Uh, because on the back side here, we're actually going to go and put... Uh, European. Perfect. Some more European there. And then get me the mixed. Brilliant. Do some more row housing here. Go the European. That's not going to work there. What you need to do here. And the things you got to do, hey? Okay. Now they should be where I want them. I hope. We're going to go like that. We're going to do that. No! Recent ah! spikes in demand have led to temporary local shortages in the city's fresh water supply. The public should be aware that we are struggling to get the situation in hand. This has been a local public service announcement. Pending updates to our power grid, the city will be experiencing what I wanted. blackouts. We urge the public to remain calm during these breaks in service and to follow the guidelines on the city's website on how to plan right. for these temporary events. We'll put some more this has been a local public service announcement. low rent housing what here. What kind of future does music have if it doesn't look to its past? Well, I say the question speaks for itself. Here right, on we're really Saturday, soaking up that low rent. You can't move forward unless you keep both eyes steadily trained on what's behind you. And on to our main cool, cool, feature cool. story. Um, the commercial district is booming as the area is attracting more high-end stores, bringing the latest in luxury to our Right, and then do this as well you can just now here. Shop for designer shoes while sipping a fancy local Jarva mate, or so my wife tells me. That's good for business and good for the community. Thanks, Jim. Um, in fact, I'm going to go like this on this Local corner. Stargazers are in for a real treat tonight as the Aurora Borealis is expected to light up the night sky. Yep. That's right, Jim. Don't forget to look up this evening. It promises to be quite a sight. It's very chilled, chilled, uh, chilled stream day today, Johnny. We've gone for a long time too. Big stream today. Should have a pretty good week of streaming this week, actually. Ah, uh, what's this? I missed R. You missed R. Yeah, you're here, you're here to the end, friendo. Yeah, that's right. You missed the beginning, but you're here at the end. Yeah, I get you. I get you. I get you. Yeah, we're just a uh, nice, uh, nice big day today. Uh, let's get the paint. some of these in
Right, nice. I'll be honest, I'm quite happy. Yeah, you get this nice sort of like, um, you get these sort of row housing here, which kind of like barricades the, um, the actual housing housing by the buildings. So you get this nice sort of tiered up system look through the buildings there, and then it opens up out over the water through here. So yeah, you kind of from all the way back here, Everyone's got a bit of a view going on over there. So, yeah, nice. And then obviously with the mountain in the background, that'll just look really good as it flows up over there. But I'm glad we kind of got that. We kind of got this packed out today, which is what I wanted to do. There's a few, there's a lot of stuff still in we can fill in. No disasters today. How are you bailing straw? How's it going? No, no mishap, so Johnny. We're still missing. I, I wonder if these are because of technical reasons. Lack of high skill labor. The company cannot find enough employees with higher education levels. Well, wow, that's because those people are currently at university stepping up. Now, um, we do have the train that comes into here. Right, here it is here. Uh, assigned vehicles. How many people do we get on that line usage? 10%. It's probably going to ramp up because... Do we have any buses coming out to here, actually? We have no buses out here, but multitude of taxis. Get a bus shelter out here. And then at the farms too. Um, we've got these buses down here, back up here. Okay, uh, let's get a line. Let's make this the, um, let's make these buses. This is the oil industry. So you know what? I'm going to go with gray buses for this one. We're going to go from here. Ah. Uh... All the way to here. We... And you're going to stop back here. Then you're actually going to drop down into there. Back up to here. Before returning there. Did you just say no? Oh no, you're doing it. And that line is actually going to be called... The um, oil industry on right. Um, can I also just say ticket prices could be like two bucks? That'll be fine. Right, they'll get some buses going out there um, because we've got the oil fields out here now. Eventually, I'm going to be able to do this, which is the one thing that we tipped on last time out. Whereas I can actually go in here and paint in my oil. So there's oil, already oil here, but what I can actually do is I can actually feed more oil into here. So like, 
like that. So just to give you an idea of what that brush actually does, I can put more oil in the ground, take oil out, right? So we might make this a nice big uh, oil industry up over here and we'll get a train yard and everything up in here as well. Like we, like I did ages ago when we first was tipping this off. We've got some nice farm country up here. Yeah, when I first did this, although we have no grain. Might be able to paint some more. Um, we've got to buy more tiles anyway. I've got a little housing estate going in here. We've got these farms just over here. Yeah, so a little bit to do. We've got this main road here that has to get... Um, this road here, right, will eventually hook up to this motorway here, in case you're wondering. So when we buy those tiles, they will get a hookup. And the motorway will probably keep skipping on that way. So we'll probably keep going that way, split around that way. Love your uncle. We've still got all of these tiles. We don't have much out there, but look at all this land up here we've got to do stuff with. So we're going to be able to get a mega, mega city on here, I reckon. A lot of abandoned apartment buildings. Which is a shame, because they kind of look nice, those ones. Yes, and the train line will have to feed uh, up over here again. I think what we'll do, like I was saying before, we're going to make this a bit of an industrial area, and in fact... I just want to check now, just quickly, we might be able to pan something in briefly, but before we go today. Wind is going that way, so industry can go there, that's fine, and in here. Yeah, well, it's on the right side of the motorway, so let's definitely put it in here. Um, if we do something like that. Probably keep going that way. Uh, I'll hold out. Um, take that up to there. That one to there. That one I'm going to leave off there. That one can definitely come to here. Ah, ham, yucky poo. There we go, that's got it. Um, yeah, I don't think that was very good. The only way you could get away with that, right, is to maybe chuck a couple of small roundabouts in these sections. Can't have one there. That's a shame. A Wait. driving advisory has been issued for the immediate area due to poor road conditions. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a local public service announcement. Pending updates to our power grid, the city will be experiencing rolling blackouts. No, we won't be experiencing... We're not going to be experiencing rolling blackouts. Stop telling the public that. Why are you telling the public... Temporary events. False news. Been a local public service announcement. No, it hasn't. It's Any false news. False news. What? We're on the air? 
Oh, oh. Uh, sorry about that. It's uh, nothing important. I just lost my. I don't like how they keep telling my public that. It's wrong. Brown sedan parked outside the radio Oh, wait. I shouldn't have said that. If anyone finds them, please don't don't steal my car. I mean, the old hornbuckle mobile, please. Oh, okay. Good. Good. Well, uh, then let's um, do something a bit fun here. Second move. This just in from traffic. If you're thinking about hitting the streets, you can expect delays on the major roads, especially during rush hour. Good to know, Jim. Seems like everyone is in a hurry to get somewhere fast. Good to know, Jim. Right, we'll go roundabouts all the way through there, which is going to be a nightmare for traffic. Zero cares. Oh, I don't know. I'd rather wait an hour in traffic than to have to start thinking about everything. Good to know, Jim. Besides, if I did that, I'd never get anywhere. We're we're live um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident uh, somewhere uh, in the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched. Jim's already the told us that. He's, I think he's just forgotten. But if you're planning a quick trip out, you might want to wait a little while until everything clears up. If you're in it, you uh, you already know about it. No use reminding you. Meanwhile, expect delays and drive safe. Right, this is going to be a uh, bit of industrial stuff going in here. And we're just going to have... You know what? I'm going to key in a little bit of um, shops and stuff around the place. So we'll go like this. Go shop there. We'll make this a bit of a shopping co corner complex. Uh, we'll also get in a bit of a car park down in here. This is just going to be boxed in for... Uh, car park should be probably in a shopping precinct area. And another one here. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, and we're literally... I'm going to just use this. Might put some more shops in up here. That corner potentially. Uh, maybe some more in there. More in here. It'll do it like that. Right, that should consume a lot of uh, industrial land. Sounds like some kind of Final Fantasy song, this one. And sit in there. Doesn't matter that it has a slight dip. Actually, that's a nothing road. That's not supposed to be a thing. It's only going to go to there. That's fine. Alright, what kind of factories have we got here? Consumer apparel. Green bar of biofuel. We got biofuel plants. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. All right. No fires, no disasters. Don't know what's going on today. There are currently no vehicles available. Consider building more depots to gain access. Okay. Uh, there's one thing that we haven't put in yet that I need to actually put it. Ah, uh, hang on. No, I did. Where'd my road maintenance depot go? 
That's the bus depot. Ah, uh, also bus depot. Oh, there we go. Buses are coming out now. That will alleviate that problem. Um, I put in... Now, that is the tram depot. I swear I put in the road maintenance depot. Did I not? I swear I put it in here. Excuse me. I swear I put... Hang on a minute. I know how we sort this out. Road maintenance. Yeah, it was supposed to be sitting here. Now check if there's any... What? Yeah, oh, there it is. Okay, it is down here near the geo. I thought I put it in. Okay, so we do have the road. The one I don't have in then is the parks and rec. Maintenance building. Also, city shelter. Wow, that only does that. Sure, put that in there. Why not? You can have a city bunker here and you can have one uh, right here. I'll just sprinkle a couple of these around the place. You can have one here, which goes underwater weirdly. Um, especially over at the university area. guys are okay. You guys need a bunker. These guys get, um... I think it can fit there to get it. Oh, it can too. Can it? Oh, I put parks there, you muppet ham. How many parks did I put in? Uh, well, this is not what I'm supposed to be doing anyway, but I will continue to put these in. To really tuck that in there, damn it. There we go, it can tuck right there. Yeah, it's just gonna do it. And then you guys can just have them in the main uh main digs of downtown. Near the school, I think. Shelter at the school. And then, um, shelter up here on the hill, eh? Actually, I've got a spot right there for you. We'll go a shelter down here. Uh, a shelter near the sports complex, because there should have been a... There should be a couple of spare little... Oh, look at that! On the corner! That's actually brilliant. It just tucks in with those shops perfectly. Have yourself a bunker. And maybe if there's a spot... There's a spot here, like in these in this uh, strip of trees. Yeah, yeah, right where the park is then. Nice, a couple of emergency shelters. Or especially if the kaiju come in. The kaiju come in out of the water, straight into the bunker. Right, oh, right. I kind of want some buildings on the corner here, not gonna lie. Maybe some shops, some nice, like, shops. 
I could go ahead and because I have the mod, I could place a building here. Um, did I have that mod? Pretty sure I did. If I go, um, if I hit this anyway, and we go buildings, and I go, just give me hotel. A little bit big. Um, uh, got any like, yeah, this is all I want. Something like that. Literally on the corner. If you can put that in. Is there another building that's, um... You can overlap them, right? Oh, uh, that just, that building just went away. Wait, maybe I'm supposed to put them in as props. I'm pretty sure I was supposed to put them in props, maybe. Let's see what there is. Oh no, they're not. I'm pretty sure you can just put buildings in though. Hmm, I'll come back to it. I'll have a player, but I'm pretty sure I've got a mod though that I can actually find buildings and put them in as a uh, ploppable. I've definitely got move it. Like I can move buildings and stuff around. I'm not going to, but I definitely can. I could just put a heap of greenery here too. You know, like that. Although that's not really going to... Um... I want to see the billboard here. Gotta see the billboard. We could put a uh, path up there too. It's obviously a thing. And then I could use my move it tool and I can actually move. No, that moves the road. Right, something cool like that. Um... That's better. Put in the bigger row up here too. Oh, come on. Yeah, just jam, just jam him in. I need to get an anarchy on. Turn that on. Turn that on. You can just put them wherever you want, which makes more sense. Yes, anarchy for the win. There we go. <laughs> That's going to fluff that out a little bit better. demand had led to temporary local shortages in the city's fresh water supply. The public should be aware that we are struggling to get the situation in hand. This has been a local public service announcement. A driving advisory has been issued for uh, the they're talking about the water, hey? Trouble with the water. Please exercise caution if you must drive and try to stay off the streets and Yeah. We've got plenty this of water availability. Service announcement. Is anyone seeing my keys? My keys. What? We're on the air? Oh, oh. Uh ground water uh, pumping. Uh, no. Sewage outlet. I'm sure they'll turn water pumping the station. Brown right. sedan parked outside the radio station. Oh wait, I probably shouldn't have said that. If anyone finds them, please don't don't steal my car. I mean, the old hornbuckle mobile, please. Oh, good. Here they are. Well, never mind them. <laughs> Thank you for listening to uh, Second Moon. We're so yeah, that goes. Um, and we're getting reports about a traffic accident. 
Uh, That's definitely, we've got more than enough water. In the city. Road maintenance services have already been dispatched and traffic flow should return to normal. But if you're planning a quick trip out... Although, look at all this. Whoa, what happened out here? You're in it, you, uh... Oh, this is out of our jurisdiction. Oh my gosh. We're, we're on the lid. We're on the lid. Oh, this has been a big accident. Highway patrols out here. Look out. We've got a flaming turd on fire. Burn down. Oh, dearie me. Right. We need a lot of highly lack of high skill. We've got buildings here that need to be rebuilt. And good for the community. Thanks, Jim. We'll be back after that. That, um... Oh, good. That's being rebuilt. I could just keep playing for hours, but I think we should probably pull it up there for the day. I like the sporting... I like this sporting facility just down here. It's going to go in conjunction really well with our park down here. So, you know what? The next time out, let's buy those two plots now. And we're ready to start building our, um... A beautiful city city sort of park down here I honestly want to just keep playing but we'll hold out uh, right this is brilliant mind you this this is coming up really nice really really happy with how this is coming up let's go like that so we're not getting all the horrible icons. I want to get a good spot to sit here. I can't get a good spot to see the, the view of the city. Here we go. We'll sit on top of this hill. Will we? Okay. Oh, Johnny, what can we put on the island? What can we put on that island? Like, it has to be some kind of tourist thing, right? It has to be something like, um, Grand Hotel. Like, it'll have to be something like this, right? Like, we could chuck this out here. We could put that out there. What if we put this here? I think that'll look really good. <laughs> Johnny, we'll get all the tourists come to that. I think that'll look really good there. No, you don't want that there. Maybe we put the prison out there, you reckon? Alcatraz. <laughs> I like that. I reckon that'd be all right there. Right, eh, you rat bags. We will make that up next time. Uh, we've got Father's Frontier to crack on with this week too. So, really excited the fact that I don't have a I don't have any medical appointments this week. A little commuter airport uh we will have to do airports sooner rather than later johnny that will be a thing thanks for joining me with this i can't we're four hours that went really quick four hours of this i'll be back tomorrow with plenty more stay safe wherever you are stay glued to your screen uh, thanks for hanging out today johnny as well all the way to the end and to everyone else who's lurking in the background there thank you um that's it see you tomorrow same time same place Get out of here.